Hello, Local 46 family. This is a very important message to give you an update regarding the concerns about the mandatory vaccinations and the options for those that are working. This video is to give you some clarification regarding the concerns on mandatory vaccinations. Many of you have seen the messages that have already gone out regarding our public sector employers. Your business representatives, Eric Lee, Jillian Burlingham, and Janet Lewis have been working hard to demand a bargain, both the decision and the impacts for those different employers and municipalities. You can follow up with your direct business rep for the details on the status of those negotiations. Those are separate from the private sector construction projects. So just a reminder, if you work for any of our public sector employers, that's the City of Seattle, King County, Sound Transit, Port of Seattle, or any of the other public sector employers, please contact your direct business representative, which would be either Janet Lewis, Julian Burlingham, or Eric Lee. They've all been working hard to negotiate these different impacts, and each of those bargaining sessions are in a different stage. So you need to reach out to your direct rep for next steps, and then they can let you know what your processes will be going forward. Now to transition to our private sector employers. Most of you in the construction units, that covers all five of our construction agreements, inside wire, limited energy, sound and communication, construction stockmen, residential, and light fixture maintenance. There have been a lot of discussions regarding the impacts of these potential mandates. Now on the construction side, IBW National and NECA National have put together a joint letter on the importance of COVID-19 vaccinations. This joint letter was negotiated between the parties at the international level to stress the importance for people to be vaccinated. That is the direction of the international office. It's not a mandate for all members to become vaccinated, but it's just a reminder of the importance there is and the impacts on the industry for everyone to become vaccinated if they're willing to do so. Please review this document carefully and you'll see the details and the expressed opinions from both international parties. Now the transition to the local jurisdiction. As you saw in the previous letter, we all know the importance of becoming vaccinated and the impacts of COVID-19. We also respect the freedom and independent choices of all of our members. That means all of you. It is not mandatory for membership to become vaccinated. However, the different employers, project owners and developers, they have the option to mandate this requirement. Therefore, Local 46 business staff and Peter Sound Chapter NECA have negotiated a memorandum of understanding in order to encapsulate the impacts and some options for members if there's a mandatory COVID-19 vaccination. And this takes effect August 31st of 2021. The complete document is located on the 46 website and the mobile app, so please review in detail. A summary of this document is as follows. The goal is to protect members that are vaccinated and to protect members who are not vaccinated with options to continue employment. However, as was mentioned earlier, this is very important that the project owner, the end user, the customer, or the developer, they have the option to make it mandatory. And that limits our options and restrictions regarding being able to staff our work. So the short story is all employees in the dispatch office will be notified within 72 hours, if possible, prior to a current project requiring members of Local 46 to be vaccinated to work on that project. Any job request for that project that has an existing mandate for COVID-19 vaccinations, this will be listed on the dispatch request form. So prior to someone taking the call, you will see this will be a special condition of employment. And these members will not receive a check mark if they pass on these requests. As with the statewide mandate, any members with medical issues or religious convictions that prevent someone from becoming vaccinated for COVID-19, this must comply with the State of Washington proclamation by the Governor 21-14 TAC-1 that was dated August 20th, 2021. So any religious exemptions or convictions or any medical issues must comply with the Governor's proclamation. The second page of this MOU is in regards to policies for unvaccinated employees. This is very important that 
Every employer will make every reasonable effort to transfer the employee to a project that is not mandating that COVID-19 vaccinations are required to work on that project. If a transfer is unavailable or an employee refuses the transfer to a new project and refuses to be vaccinated when a vaccine mandate is established on that project, the employee or the member will receive a clean RIF, a clean layoff with no comments regarding vaccination status. Signatory employers and Peter Sound Chapter NECA agree and we will enforce that there will be no retaliation imposed on any employee or any member that refuses a transfer and that you shall receive a clean reduction in force. Also, the employers and Peter Sound Chapter NECA will not contest any unemployment claims filed by these employees or members if there is not a transfer and they are laid off because the job is requiring the COVID-19 vaccination. Once again, please review this entire document in detail. If you have any questions, please contact the primary inside wire business rep. This is for the construction units. So there, please reach out to dispatcher Brian Johnson, business rep Ryan Paddock, business rep Shannon Hagen, and on the peninsula, you can also reach out to Neil Holm. All these reps are available via cell phone, email, text message to answer any of your questions. Please take the time to review the documents on the website, the mobile app, and in your email. If you have any questions, please remember to reach out to your direct business representative. Thank you for your time. Stay safe, look out for each other, and I'll see you soon.